I recommend putting it on this platform for free for a brief period or just asking people to subscribe to support, we would not keep any funds. Now, what is this all important thing that Elon Musk believes everyone should see? Sound of Freedom. Sound of Freedom is also referred to in many circles as that QAnon movie. And wow, they really like the idea of this free advertising by Elon Musk. Now, this group does have a message and they want you to know in their trailer that you can donate in their mission to make money. You can give money in a pay it forward program to buy tickets for other people to see their movie. That's real. Go look up the trailer right at the end. Now, if you go to look up this movie, you're going to find out quite a few things. Things like Investigative journalist Lynn Packer and Damon Moore of American Crime Journal reported that Tim Ballard lied about his involvement in the case portrayed in the film and fabricated details about his activities. Now, Tim Ballard founded Operation Underground Railroad. That might sound familiar because originally the 1776 restoration movement was going to donate money left over from their protest to that group. Now, Operation Underground Railroad claims to disavow conspiracies. Of course, because if they don't at least claim that, it's going to be a bad look. Tim Blanchard, however, won't disavow QAnon. And this group has a lot of criticism. Some have said a raid they were involved in traumatized children. Ann Gallagher, an authority on human trafficking, said the group's actions are, quote, arrogant, unethical, and illegal. Now, the man playing Tim Ballard in the movie, the actor, is a QAnon conspiracy theorist known for just ranting and raving about adrenochrome and other crazy nonsense. But I guarantee when people start debunking parts of the movie, calling it out, they're going to claim it has nothing to do with QAnon. Except for the people involved. They'll also, I'm sure, deny that things are being fabricated, um, which will be really interesting. I actually think that uh, debunks of this movie could be very interesting, and I'm sure quite a few people are going to be working on them immediately once they get access to the film.